I am on assignment. Forgive me for being so forward when I say this podcast is not for everyone. My name is Valerie Kimani. I am an artist, a believer, a teacher at heart. I take the broken things of life and turn them into something beautiful. Chai is an invitation to conversation on how we can turn trauma into triumph. It's a weekly reminder that you and I can heal completely. You and I can grow consistently. You and I can live powerfully. Here's to wholeness. How about a sip of that? So when I recorded the trailer, it was so potent, I had to take a beat. Let the seed fertilize, the word take root. It's here in the waiting where the separation happens. So this podcast is for those willing to sit in discomfort for a while while we find the truth. This podcast is for you if, like me, you wrestled with those words. Chain breaker. What does that mean? Am I bound to old, decaying patterns of thought? What areas of my life do I still feel bound? What does freedom feel like? Am I free? power generator. Can I break these chains, these patterns? How do I break them? Relationship refiner without breaking my relationships because that hurts. Holy Spirit, help me Fear crusher. You have not given me a spirit of fear. Trauma is constant fear. So am I constantly fighting? Am I constantly fleeing, running? Am I constantly freezing like a deer in the headlights, clamming up, getting tight, going numb? Am I constantly fawning, playing nice, being extra, extra sugary and sweet so that they will like you or so that they won't threaten you? Shame slayer, how dare you speak up? How dare you speak up? I mean, you're going to say what you think and how you feel out loud? Disagree with what they say of you, what they think of you, who they say you are. Who do you think you are? You think you're someone special? 
You think you're something special? You think you're something special? Purpose pursuer. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, I do. Knit together breathtakingly in my mother's room. Body and soul marvelously made, bought with a price. God's workmanship adopted as his child, then established, anointed, sealed, chosen and appointed to bear fruit. Generational builder. So my children and my children's children will be free in their spirits, in their hearts, in their minds. They'll know who they really are. Who they were created to be. And that intimidates hell. Because once you know the truth, you can't unknow it. You break through lies like you now understand that you are in the war of your life. Prayer whisperer, because the things you say intentionally, continuously, out loud or under your breath, matter. Love maker. (laughs) Not lust taker. Because making love is an intentional effort, an action. And this happens not just in bed. It happens daily with yourself, with others. It's having the strength to forgive The selflessness, compassion, time to listen. The courage to make peace. Love is building boundaries, not walls. And they don't teach you to do that in school. Empathy warrior, reaching out even when you're afraid, especially when you're afraid. Showing up authentically, vulnerably, regardless of judgment. Offering vulnerability in place of defensiveness, giving freely, expecting no thanks. I wonder what definition you have accepted as true for yourself. Whose definition? The world's? Your bosses? Your mothers? Your spouses? Your children's? (laughs) Your children's definition? They say you're beautiful. You're a piece of You're sexy, desirable, fat, too thin.
They call you mother, barren, unfruitful, unlucky. They say you're successful, poor. Going places, lost, confused, crazy, unwanted, left, sick, married, divorced, weird. <laughs> Everyone has a label ready for you based on what they feel today about you and that is okay and what I'm more curious to know is who you say you are what you believe that little inner voice that sits uncomfortably when you're outside of your truth. What does that voice say about you? I wonder if you would take time to explore freely without judgment, who you say you are. And then choose what to believe, even if you don't quite feel it yet, Whisper it continuously, daily, until you do.